from the HMV Premium Collection number 38, I bought Yakuza pretty much on a whim because it had, well, some Japanese flavour to it and I had Robert Mitchum in. I was kind of curious about this one. Um, only after I picked it up did I discover that it was Sidney Pollock, Robert Town, Paul Schrader, one hell of Hollywood big hitters behind this one. And I still didn't know a thing about it going into it. And we get this uh, ex-private eye, Harry Kilmer, which is Robert Mitchum's character, who travels back uh, to Japan because of a friend. A friend's called him in to do a favour. He, his friend, is mixed up with the, the Yakuza and they have kidnapped his daughter. And he needs a little bit of help to get her back, get her safe. And I instantly knew where the story was going and I was wrong, which is, I love to have that kind of wrong take on a film when it surprises me. And we get the uh, Harry Killen and his young ward, somebody that's there that's with him to kind of keep an eye on him and kind of help him out. And he goes back uh, and we discover a lot of backstory about Harry, how he used to be there after the war, how he had a relationship with someone. And um, when their brother came back, uh, he, he was kind of upset that, that an enemy soldier was looking after him, felt a little bit aggrieved. Um, and his partner at the time, Harry's partner, kind of said that she didn't want to talk to him. She wasn't talking to her brother and Harry left. He comes back, he falls almost back into the rhythm straight away. You can feel the kind of love between these two characters. Uh, even the daughter is kind of appreciative to Harry and everything that he did. You have this whole history of this character who seemingly loves the country, loves the people, uh, and just couldn't quite make it work for himself when he was there. When things kind of start going down a certain path, he needs to call in the help of his ex-partner's brother, the, the person that kind of stopped their relationship from blossoming, Takakura Ken, who's utterly wonderful in this movie and a complete counterpoint to Robert Mitchum's character. Um, and what you have here is these two characters pretty much against the world, uh, dealing with their own sense of morals, their own code of conduct, and still looking for revenge uh, of a sort, or looking to make sure that they're both safe. And I really like this movie. It grew on me the more I watched it. You know, I started off kind of half interested, and by the end of the movie, I was on the edge of my seat watching this unbelievable film play out in front of me. Because you have this film noir aesthetic built into this. You have these two characters who both have their own code of conduct, who both live by old kind of samurai rules, um, even though they're from different worlds apart. They both have this similar sensibility. And seeing these two characters together, um, who particularly don't really like each other, but feel a debt to each other who are unwilling to leave anyone behind, who really work together under respect, mutual respect for each other, and it has these terrific action set pieces in it itself. And the best one being, obviously, the climax, uh, where we have these two men, Mitchum and Ken, against pff, a lot of people, and it is staged perfectly. It has enough nods to both Western influences and Eastern influences to make it a real treat for any film fan. This is one of those movies where you get a lot put into it. You know, you get the film noir aesthetic. You get the Japanese elements of samurai and their conduct. You get uh, the silent kind of private detective in the form of Mitchum. You get the East meets West perfectly and none feels to overpower the other and they both seem to reflect the similarities between each of these different cultures that just are uh, wonderful. Like I can't rave highly about this one enough because I really was caught off guard. The whole aesthetic is wonderful. Almost all the characters I loved, the way it takes its time felt a little bit meandering at first, but it settles into that say, beat, that rhythm that's so wonderful, but it's happy to take time and just show someone 
sorting tea and the caretaking and doing that and it actually speaks to one of the characters to show them why they should take more care more reverence in what they're doing rather than just drinking it straight away so many wonderful scenes in this so it's such a good movie that I'm so glad to have discovered this is the kind of thing that really just excites me when I put on a movie like this and know very little about it and I walk away super excited about it Yakuza is terrific highly recommended I utterly love this one I'd love to know your thoughts on it let me know in the comment box below and I'll see you next time on Man V Films